Okay. The hearing uh, was called of the Higher Education Committee because there has been uh, alleged cheating, uh, impersonation uh, of other students where someone took a test for several other students uh, out of um, Great Neck North High School. And this is something that we can't tolerate. Uh, cheating is uh, changes a level playing field towards one group of students at the expense of another group of students. And so we've got to look at the laws to see how we deal with this. Um, you know, in our society, we, uh, we are a society of uh, law and people want uh, fair play. That's why, and I was thinking about this, we have the instant replay to check to make sure that the ref's judgment is right because people want in any game, sport, or event like the SAT that so much is uh, being banked on for someone's entire career. So um, we have a good group of people that will testify and hopefully give us the input on how we should change the laws to protect and make sure that the security of test administration is ironclad. Do you have any What's ideas a, yeah. right now about, about what could make it better? What I have some, but uh, we're going to talk about some of those ideas and hopefully uh, College Board and ETS will uh, give us uh, what we want in making the test uh, administration secure. ETS feels that they what they're doing right now is good enough and it is secure. Do you agree with that? <laughs> the record speaks for itself. It's not secure when you have impersonation. And to go beyond that, when a male is taking a test for a female, that I think uh, uh, shows that there are problems. And uh, we have to make sure, again, that those students who chose to do something improper, allegedly did something improper. They changed the playing field. So there were other students who will not get into the college of their choice because they played by the rules. That's wrong. What kind of remedies uh, are needed here? I mean, there's no repercussions for cheating right now. There, one of the things out of this hearing is there will be repercussions. That is very clear. That is clear, and we want to make sure that if you choose a road of cheating or doing something unfairly, you are going to be penalized. We cannot tolerate it. When so much is on these tests to get into a college of, of their choice, we, we cannot as a legislature or a society allow that to continue. I apologize, I know you said you are going to talk more about it in the meeting, but I have to go live. So do you have any ideas that you can at least share with us that, you know, you want? Maybe some, maybe about yes. the stronger repercussions? Well, uh, I, I certainly think that, um, at minimum, that a uh, students have to have a sanction uh, for a period of time that will not uh, allow them to take a standardized test, uh, which, which would be a bar. Uh, for admission to um, uh, particularly the competitive schools. Um, I, this is going to be a committee decision um, in, in terms of whether we want to look at uh, whether there should be something that is overtly um, criminal, impersonation, fraudulent behavior, and even individuals that may be accomplices. You know, no one has talked about, I have, uh, where were the parents of these students? Uh, $1,500 to $2,500 passes hands, and young, young people have that kind of money? I think not. So uh, I think we have to look at this whole uh, issue to see um, where were the parents at this time? What did they know? And I think we need to uh, make sure that there are sanctions. Whether we go to criminal sanctions, that will be up to the committee. Thank you. Great, thank you.